Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Valentine's to everyone who is watching. You guys know I can hardly wait for an occasion or something to cook up a big storm. So today, Valentine's menu is gonna be some stuffed peppers and some stuffed cannelloni pasta with some some other treats and I will share those recipe with you guys as I'm, I'm going along. So first of all, I'm frying up my ground turkey. I'm gonna fry this up until all the pinkness is gone before I start adding some ingredients. So our ground turkey is cooking up nicely. I barely put a little bit of oil in here. And I find that it's drying out now, so we're gonna start flavoring this up. Some black pepper. Some salt. Pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna add some fine thyme. Fine time really gives a nice flavor to the ground meat. So what I did, I stemmed them out and then I chopped them very finely. And now we're gonna add some finely chopped garlic. And garlic is also a superstar in this ground meat. So we're gonna mix it up nicely again. So all that goodness can distribute evenly. And we're gonna cook it for a minute or two so that that garlic and thyme flavor can really infuse in the meat before we add our next two ingredients. So now that our garlic and thyme is mixed in well, we're gonna add some finely chopped onions and some finely chopped green onions as well. We're gonna mix everything up. And it smells really, really nice. We're gonna cook the onion and the green onion a little, and then this is done because the water content is gone from, look at here. It's completely gone and you can see there is no oil. So the, that's why I like to use the ground turkey. There is less fat in this meat. So now we're, I have two whole wheat bread here that I finally break up. I'm gonna soak it with some milk because this is what we're gonna put into the ground meat to bind it together. So I just want a little spoon here, Jess. I have a cup of milk that I just added. And we're gonna set it on the side so this bread can suck up all that milk to add to our ground meat. So now that our bread was soaking in the milk for a little, we're gonna add our ground meat in here. And So we're gonna mix that in and the bread and milk is gonna work as a binder. 
and we're gonna also add two eggs in here which is gonna keep everything together and you can add your cheese as well I'm gonna add some cheese and then we're gonna mix and it smells lovely so we just added our ricotta cheese and we're gonna mix that up And then now I'm gonna start stuffing my cannelloni pasta and my sweet peppers. Today I'm gonna be using the red sweet peppers because it's Valentine. So I just line at the bottom of this pan with some pasta sauce and um, I'm using the no boiling cannelloni so these ones you just stuff and add it to the baking dish and then you put it in your oven and this makes it very very easy the catelli brand and it says here no boiling and i like that because that's one step less for me so now i'm gonna start folding these babies out and i am taking the meat i'm putting it into the pasta it's gonna take a little bit time because I have to do one by one. The good thing is that the pasta is still form, so it's easier. You can see it's going in here, right Jess? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna continue with this process and then I'm gonna start doing some from this end. And then once I'm done, I will show you guys how they look. So we did a quick job here. Jesse helped me to, to stuff the pasta. And now we're going to add some sauce on top. And these guys are going to go in, uh, in the oven. Let's see here. To cook. And just, I don't think I want to put cheese on top. I just want to cook it in the sauce. But we're going to add some cheese on top of the pepper. What do you think? Yeah. So we're gonna put this into the oven, 350 degree, and we're gonna cook this until they're nice and soft. And we'll, we will show you guys, this is one of the dish on our menu tonight. The next thing we're gonna stuff is the red peppers, and I cut them in half like this, this half, instead of that half, because it can sit better in the baking dish. And now we're gonna use the same stuffing to fold these babies up and cook them in the oven as well. So we're killing two birds with the one stone here. So here is our beautiful stuffed peppers. I just topped them off with some cheese. I'm gonna put these into my oven and then I will take them out in a few minutes. So I have some chicken breasts thinly slice into small pieces. I try to keep them to the same size. I'm gonna quickly season these with a pinch of black pepper. Sorry Jess, this is making loud noise. Eh? <laughs> a little pinch of salt. And we're gonna go light with our seasoning here today. I have some lemon pepper and some smoked paprika. We're gonna mix the two together and we're gonna just Add it to our chicken. This is gonna give a beautiful flavor and a lovely color on the chicken. I'm gonna mix that in just a few minutes. So over here, I'm gonna add some zucchini and I'm gonna add some peppers and I'm gonna add some red onion. So I'm just adding some of that flavor onto the veggies as well. And oops, and then I'm gonna go in here and mix this up with my hands so we can get everything on all pieces of the chicken. And now I had my skewer soaking in water so that I don't burn them. And then I'm gonna start putting these on our skewers. So I have two of the skewers. I'm gonna look for a farm nice vegetable like the zucchini. And then we're gonna put the, the, these are easy to break. We're gonna put these um, 
on the back. We're gonna put a piece of chicken here now. And you wanna cut the chicken to a nice size that it can cook fast, so chicken. And we're gonna go in with a piece of the onion. And this would all add beautiful flavor. And then we wanna go in with some of that red pepper. And because it's Valentine, we wanna really showcase the red today. So now I'm gonna go back again with some chicken. And then we're gonna repeat the process maybe, the zucchini. And we're gonna repeat the process until we're finished with all the chicken. So I just finished putting together all my kebabs, chicken kebabs with some onions, red pepper, and zucchini. These guys are going into the oven. And I was gonna do some shrimp tonight, but I think it's too much. So I'm just gonna put these in and then dinner is gonna be ready soon. So our kebabs are halfway there and I like to just take them out and brush them with some barbecue sauce because this really hype up the flavor and it tastes like real, real good. So I'm going to brush all these and then I'll put them in back before they're ready for dinner. Our pasta is finished. Peppers are done. A few more minutes for the chicken and dinner will be ready. So guys, dinner is ready. I have pretty much everything have red in it. And I'm very happy with the turnout. You guys let me know if you'll be happy to sit at my Valentine's table because I made some chicken kebabs stuffed red bell pepper and some stuffed cannelloni pasta and here I have everybody's dinner laid out on the table. I made some pomegranate and fried splash because it's pinkish color and I love the flavor of the pomegranate and the Sprite. So that's what we're gonna have to go down with our dinner tonight. So I wanna say a big shout out to my cousin Sandra in Essequibo Coast who is celebrating her birthday today. I hope you had a wonderful day and I wish you many, many more happy birthdays to come. All those who are celebrating a birthday today, an anniversary or any kind of celebration, I would like to wish you a happy one. So I'm gonna go in and to all my YouTube friends and family, big, heart to you guys love and best wishes for valentine's remember it's not only for lovers but it's for it is for everyone so please enjoy the rest of the valentine night i'm gonna do the taste test and let you guys know how everything tastes so let me dive in and i think i want to dive in let me go in for for the peppers right It's, everything is so hot, so I have to be careful. So that's how the pepper is in the inside. We have some ground meat there. So I'm gonna do my taste test now. To all my viewers and all my subscribers, this is your mouthful, happy Valentine's. Mm, pepper is amazing. It still have some texture in the pepper. And the uh, filling is absolutely delicious. So now I'm gonna taste my cannelloni. Just wanna show how inside of the cannelloni is. The meat is in here and the cannelloni cook nice and soft. Even though I didn't boil this one, this was one that we didn't need to boil. So now let me taste. Cheers. So, so good. So I can taste everything and not taste the chicken kebab. So I'm gonna do a taste for this one. And the chicken is cooked nice and soft. That barbecue sauce really enhances it. And I can taste a fla the flavor of the smoked paprika. 
So guys, that's it for a Valentine's dinner. We still have dessert, but the de I guess the dessert will come later. So we're gonna sit here and finish our dinner. Thank you guys for coming along with us for Valentine's dinner. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Until then, love you guys. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.